Hey everybody, welcome back to our family pantry. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make our sweet potato casserole. And the ingredients that you'll need are sweet potatoes, vanilla, salt, evaporated milk, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, eggs, and then cinnamon, brown sugar, flour, white sugar, and a stick of butter. And so we'll bring you a little bit closer and show you how we make it. I'm gonna start off by just putting my sweet potatoes in the mixing bowl. Oops. Let's make sure I get all of that in there. Now, I'm gonna add my four eggs. And a half a cup of sugar. And don't worry about the ingredients. We'll just leave it in the description box below. And you'll be able to access it that way. There we go. Now, I'm gonna add my can of evaporated milk. And my vanilla. Just need a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And then we'll blend this up in the mixer. We'll set that down and then we'll add our seasonings. Okay, now with a half tea, I'm gonna use a half teaspoon of ginger. Half teaspoon of cinnamon. Half teaspoon of nutmeg. a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, and then a full teaspoon of salt. Okay, let me get this all mixed in now. Okay. So for the topping, we've got a cup of flour, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a third cup white sugar, and a third cup brown sugar. Now we'll get this all mixed up. Make sure our seasonings are well combined with our flour and our sugar. I like to use a fork for this to kind of just get down in there and get any of those brown sugar um, clumps ground down. Okay, we've got everything well combined and now we're gonna add a stick of melted butter. Just get that all mixed in. And we're just trying to get this all combined in well. Make sure you don't have any flour hanging around in the bowl. And then it's kind of gonna resemble like wet sand, like a sand castle at the beach. So that's the kind of consistency you're going for. There we go. Now we're ready to assemble our casserole. Now we've got our oven preheating to 375, and this is a greased uh, nine by 13 baking pan. 
Now I'm just gonna fill it in. Just make sure I get this goodness in there. Uh, I can't imagine a holiday meal without a, sweet, a dish with sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is one of my favorite foods, so I, I feel like if there's no sweet potatoes at the table, then there's <laughs> something wrong. The holiday just isn't <laughs> complete, is it? No. Okay, just wanna make sure to spread it around, make sure it's spread out evenly. Okay, now we're ready for the topping. And so we'll just come in here and you just take it in your hand and we're just gonna sprinkle it on top and try to get the whole casserole covered. Now this um, streusel topping, it will stay on top. It's not gonna sink down in as it bakes. It's a nice, hearty um, casserole. I remember my granny used to make um, sweet potatoes or candied yams with uh, marshmallows. And I remember this specific casserole dish she used to use. It was kind of an eight by eight, thick white one. Do you remember? What, how your mama used to make sweet potatoes or uh, yams? It was just uh, the yams with uh, the marshmallows on top. And yeah. it's very simple. All right. Now that is ready. Oops, we got a little bit more. Now this is ready to go in the oven uncovered for about 35 to 40 minutes. And so we'll get this in the oven and we'll show you when it's done. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. And it looks great. Okay, there's our sweet potato casserole. It smells so good. It almost smells like a dessert. <laughs> it does <laughs> smell But delightful. you can smell the spices, the cinnamon, the clove, the nutmeg, and it's gonna be awesome. We just wanna wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Take care now. Bye-bye.